aliens. Badoop! Hi, my name is Arielle, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on Close Encounters of the Third Kind by Steven Spielberg. I know it's a movie. Now I know it's a movie I didn't know before until I picked this up, so I went into this without seeing the movie, so here we go. The book follows Roy, and Roy is a typical suburban dad, wife, three kids, yada yada yada. So he works in electrician, I believe, like power lines and such. And he gets a call and they're like, hey, the power is like going out everywhere. And then phew, power goes out in his house. So he has to leave and go to the area where the problem is. Well, he gets there, there's workers ready to work and there's no power lines. They're not just down. They didn't fray, they're gone. So he, is there and then leaves that area to go search and find other areas that may or may not have power. And he encounters a very bright light, so bright it sunburns half of his face. And he's having like this really scary, frightening moment and aliens. And he pretty much loses his cool uh, through the book and uh, becomes obsessed with finding the aliens. And if you haven't seen the movie or read the book, that is as far as I can go into it without completely ruining it for you. I do want to see the film because I really enjoy the book. So now I'm going to give you my pros and cons. They may be spoilery. So if you've never seen the movie or never read the book and want to, skip this. But if you've read the book or seen the movie, stay. Cons. So I have a few. Uh, I didn't like Ronnie, Roy's wife. I felt like her husband was losing his shit. And she was like, you're ruining us. You're making us look bad to the neighbors. That was annoying. <laughs> don't like how he was like, I need you be with me and she was like no this is weird you're nuts i just didn't like her there we go like i felt for her at the beginning because she was like we never go out i never get to do anything i'm always stuck in the house on a housewife and i was like yeah that sucks i get that but then she's just a kind of i didn't like her after that i didn't like the writing um the book was extremely engaging i read this book in less than 24 hours it's a very small book 251 pages to the end so it was very short felt more like a first draft of something like just the way it was written but it was it was really engaging like i really enjoyed it and my last con i didn't like the ending uh roy uh was just like i'm gonna write my kids and wife a letter and ba say bye so i can go find this rock and find all my aliens uh because i've been obsessively uh building this rock out of mashed potatoes and dirt and chicken wire in my house. And when he finds the aliens, he goes with them and he leaves. And anything anything I read or watch where a parent leaves their children, it just bothers me. I just, I'm not a fan of that at all. Pros. So, like I said, the book is very engaging. It was a very fast-paced read. And I got really sucked into this. I just I just picked it up and I'm like, huh, what's this? And uh, I read like 50 pages really quickly and I was thinking about it when I fell asleep. So it was the first thing I wanted to do when I woke up was, was read it. So the fact that it was so engaging, just that's a, that's a pro under, on it, unto itself. Another pro I have is the smaller aliens. Um, there's a point where they, they kind of come out of their ship and they walk up to people and they start touching people. And it said that if people didn't, if people didn't, weren't receptive to the touching, they moved on to someone else who, who was. And then, you know, if they're touched back, it's like they're communicating through touch. And like, I really, really, really enjoyed that. It was so cool to read. Another pro I have is Barry's interaction with the aliens. So at the beginning of the story, um, you know, the aliens, you know, they come into the house and into Barry's house. Barry's like four and his mother's in the back room sick. And uh, they start lighting up his toys and making them move around. And he's so happy. And he just generally just is giggling and playing peekaboo with the aliens. And 
Like that was just so wholesome. Like he was just like not afraid. And then when he comes back with the aliens and is reunited with his mother, he's like, mommy, I saw our house from up above. Uh, did you see me? She's like, yeah, I saw you. You know, she had been terrified about not seeing her son ever again. His character and his development with the aliens was really well written. But my final thoughts on the book is I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it to anybody who likes science fiction, whether you have seen the movie or not. I don't know how well it compares to the movie. Um, I will find out eventually, but I really think that this is a really cool science fiction novel and that if you like science fiction, um, especially 70s, 80s science fiction novels, that this is something you should definitely pick up. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel, and uh, bye.